This is a creature called an amoeba. The structure and movement of an amoeba's body are extremely unique. So what happens if we pour alcohol on an amoeba? How will it react? All life forms on Earth are broadly classified into three categories. Bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes. Among these, bacteria and archaea are mostly tiny single-celled organisms, too small to be seen with the naked eye. The animals, plants, and fungi we usually encounter all belong to the group of eukaryotes. However, among the eukaryotes, there are some organisms that don't neatly fit into these familiar categories. These are called protists. Most protists are single-celled organisms with simple body structures, and they display a wide variety of unique lifestyles. So this time, to show you real protists in action, we've purchased live protists for observation. First up is the amoeba. Amoebas are fairly well known, but not many people have actually seen one alive and moving. We placed a drop of water containing amoebas on a slide, then looked at it under a microscope. Take a look here. Can you see that strangely moving creature? That's an amoeba. Amoebas have no fixed shape and are constantly changing their form as they move. These extended parts are called pseudopodia, or false feet. Amoebas use these pseudopodia to engulf their food, slowly digesting it as they absorb it. When we zoom in even further, we can see that the amoeba's body is transparent, so you can actually see particles, organelles, and even the food it's digesting inside its cell. Next up is the paramecium. Zooming in, can you see it? A brownish creature is swimming around freely. If we zoom in further, we can get a better look at its body shape. The English name paramecium comes from the Greek word paramekes, which means elongated. If you look closely, you can see tiny hair-like things moving around its body. A paramecium's entire body is covered in cilia, which it uses to swim through water. Cute, right? Like amoebas, paramecia are predatory protists and actually have surprisingly complex internal structures. They can take in food, expel waste, and even control the amount of water in their bodies to manage osmosis. Pretty amazing, right? Next is a creature called Euglena. Euglena is especially unique. Look here, this green creature is Euglena. When you look closely at a Euglena, you'll notice something moving at the tip. Euglena has a flagellum at its front end, which it wiggles to swim around. Its green color comes from chloroplasts in its body. Thanks to a special light-sensitive spot called an eye spot, Euglena can move toward the light and use photosynthesis to make its own nutrients. Even more surprising, when there's no light, it can hunt for food and take it into its body. Euglena is a truly unique organism that has both animal and plant characteristics. Finally, we prepared some rubbing alcohol and tried dropping it on the protists. First, we dropped a bit of alcohol on the paramecium. Can you tell? It died almost instantly. Then we tried the same with the actively moving amoeba, and it too died in no time. The reason protists are so weak to alcohol is because they're single-celled organisms, which means alcohol can easily destroy their cell membranes or denature their proteins. Protists mainly live in places like stagnant ponds or decaying water. Some of the protists that live in these environments can actually be harmful to humans. So after touching water from those kinds of places, it's a good idea to disinfect your hands with alcohol. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This has been Fishy Science.
where we explain strange things through science.